hi everyone welcome back in this lecture we will take a look into add employee form handling well if you look at the screenshot over here where i want to design the add employee form that looks something like this so we'll basically create a card within that we are going to create a form all right so basically we are going to use bootstrap css classes to design this form and this form looks good isn't it next let us take a look into the development steps First, we'll define the state variables such as first name, last name, email in our employee component using use date hook. Next, we'll design add employee form using HTML line bootstrap. Next, we'll create a JavaScript function to handle on click event. Well, whenever users submit the add employee form, then we have to handle the submit event, right? So for that, we'll create a JavaScript function. Next, we'll test the React application. So basically, I want to print the form data to the browser console. All right. So first step is define state variables in a employee component using use state hook. So let us go to our project in VS code and go to employee component over here. And here, let me minimize this. So within employee component, let us define the state variables using use state hook. So here, let us use use state hook to create first name state variable. So just type use state and make sure that you import use state from react library at a top so use state hook is nothing but a javascript function so we can pass the initial values so here let us pass empty value and then const and then array so here let us give state variable name as first name and let us give the function name set first name so here first name is a state variable name and set first name is a function name that we use to update the first name state value all right next let us define the last name state variable using use state hook so here const and then array let us use state variable name as last name set last name is a function name and then use state let us give initial value empty perfect so similarly let us define email state variable using use state hook so here const and then state variable name email set email as a function that we use to update the email state variable value and then use state hook let us give initial value empty perfect now we have defined the state variables like first name last name email using use state hook in a employee component so this is the first step let us take a look into the second step Second step is design add employee form using HTML line bootstrap CSS classes. So let us go to our project and go to employee component, go to return statement and here let us remove this employee component string. So we are going to display the form in a container for that let us use container bootstrap CSS class over here and next let us create a div and let us pass the bootstrap CSS class that is row next let us create a one more div and let us give bootstrap css class that is card well we are going to display the form within a card that's why here we are using bootstrap css class that is card well if you go to browser and go to new tab over here and just search for bootstrap for your cards click on first link and you can see the bootstrap css classes card card body right so these are the bootstrap css classes that we are going to use to create the card and within the card we will create the form okay so let's go back to vs code and here within a card let's first add the heading for that let us use s2 element and let us give heading something like add employee perfect next let us display this add employee heading at the center by using bootstrap css class that is text hyphen center perfect next after heading let us have one more due and let's give bootstrap css class name that is card body next within a card body let's create the form perfect next within a form let's create a due all right and let's give bootstrap css class that is form hyphen group next let us give margin bottom 
to perfect so within this div let's create the label and input element so here label and then let us use bootstrap css class for this label that is form hyphen label next let us give name to the label that is employee first name or let us give only first name okay so let us remove this employee from here next we need to have a input text box to enter the text for that let's have a input element over here and then this input element has the properties like type let us give text and then let's give the placeholder let us say enter employee first name and then it has a name property and let us give name as first name and then it has value so let us give value as a state variable name that is first name well if you look at here we have defined first name as a state variable using use state hook and this state variable we are, we are passing to the value property here okay next let us use the bootstrap css class that is form hyphen control next whenever user enters some value in the text box then we have to get that value right so for that we can use unchange event handling so here just type unchange and just pass the event handler name let us say handle first name so this is the event handler name next let us create a javascript function to get the value from this input text box so here let us copy this handler name so here go to return statement above this return statement let's create a javascript function let us give name as handle first name and here let us pass event as a parameter next we can get the value from this event object by using event.target.value for example here let us call set first name method and then pass event dot target dot value all right so this is how we can get the value from the event object now we have used set first name method to set the value to the first name state variable all right so next go to form so here we have created the field for first name similarly let us create the field for last name and email so here let me copy this div and let me paste it over here and let me change the content accordingly so here instead of first name last name and here placeholder enter employee last name and name last name and let us pass state variable name that is last name next on change and the handler name handle last name perfect next let us create a javascript function that will handle this unchange event so go to return statement just above this return statement let's create a javascript function function handle last name and then pass event object let us get the value from this event object so here let us call set last name and we can get the value from event object like event dot target dot value all right perfect now we created input field for last name similarly let us create it for email so let us copy this div and let us paste it over here and let us give label as email and here go to input element type let's give password next placeholder enter employee email and name let's give email and value let us pass the state variable that is email and then let us give handler name that is handle email all right so let us create a javascript function that will handle this unchange event so go to return statement just above this let's create a javascript function function handle email and then pass 
event object and then call set email event dot target dot value perfect now we have created input field for email as well next let us create the submit button so here let us have button let us give bootstrap CSS classes such as button button success perfect let us give button name as submit so here whenever users submit the form then we have to handle the onclick event right so here let us have a onclick property and here let us pass the handler name let us say save employee okay perfect next let us take a look into next step next step is create a javascript function to handle onclick event so let's go to our project again so here we have specified the handler name save employee so let us create a javascript function that will handle this onclick event so let us go to return statement just above this return statement let's create the javascript function and let's give name as save employee and then let us pass event object next within a save employee method just call event object dot prevent default so this will prevent the default activities that that will happen while submitting the form next here let us put the console dot log so before that let's create the object so const and then employee let us set all the fields to the object such as first name last name email next let us print this employee object to the console all right perfect now we have created a javascript function to handle form submission event handler next let us take a look into next step next step is test the react application well let, let us go back to our project and look at here restarting the terminal because the connection to the cell process was lost so let us start our react application again so here let me clear the console and then let us type the command cd ems frontend and then type the command npm run dev perfect our react application is up and running next let's go to browser and go ahead and click on this add employee button over here and notice here the add employee form not looks good so some bootstrap css are missing for this add employee form so let us go ahead and let us add some bootstrap css classes to make this add employee form more you know beautiful so let's go back to our vs code and here go to this div that is container and go to row go to card and here let us use bootstrap grid system related classes to align the form at a center for example here column mid 6 well the bootstrap grid has total 12 columns and we are using 6 columns for form next we need to align the form at a center for that we are going to use offset to move columns to right and left so here we are going to move the form by 3 columns from left and 3 columns from right so here again offset mid 3 okay, next let us save this file and let's go back to browser and now you can see the form is located at the center of the page next here you can see the card is slightly attached to the header so let us give some space between this form and header so let's go back to you know employee component again and here after this container let us have some break elements perfect let us save this file let's go back to browser and there we go now the add employee form looks good okay next let us test this add employee form so here right click inspect and then go to console clear the console and here just enter the first name ramesh last name for the email ramesh at the rate gmail.com so look at here we have given the input type as a password that's why the text looks like this so let's go to our project again and go to form and go to email field over here 
and here input type password so let us change from password to text okay next let's go to browser and now you can see email is visible ramesh at the rate gmail.com okay next clear the console and go ahead and click on submit button and look at here the employee object is printed and the employee has first name ramesh last name at the rate email ramesh at the rate gmail.com it means we have successfully done add employee form handling okay now let me show you some of the best practices that you can follow while form handling in a react application well let's go to our project and go to employee component and notice here we have written a separate handlers to handle each form input field right so instead of writing this much of code what we can do is we can use javascript arrow function to set the values to the state variable in the input text field itself for example here go to first name and go to unchange event handler well notice here for this unchange property we are passing the complete function we are not calling the function well in javascript we typically use the syntax like this to call the function right but here we are not using the braces over here we are passing the function itself to this unchanged property okay and this handle first name is a handler function and this function basically set the value to the first name field so here if we write the arrow function so instead of job function we can write the arrow function like this const handle first name and then arrow symbol like this isn't it and here also for last name we can write the arrow function const and then handle last name equal to and then arrow symbol next for handle email also we can write the arrow function like const handle email and then arrow symbol so if you can notice the arrow functions each arrow function body has a single statement right so if arrow function has a single statement in the body we can also remove the open and close curly braces like this all right so this is how we can simplify the arrow function so here also let us remove open and close curly braces from handle last name and similarly from handle email perfect next go to again first name field here we are passing the function itself right so instead of you know writing the separate arrow function like this we can simply pass the arrow function body here itself so let me copy this body and go to first name field and go to unchange event handler here instead of this let me paste over here so we can also you know provide the arrow function to and change property like this okay so again we can reduce this line of code as well similarly let's copy this from last name and go to last name field and instead of this handler name let us paste this function body and next let us remove this line of code as well next similarly let's do it for email as well so let's copy this body and go to email field and here instead of passing the function name let us pass the function body itself next we can remove this line of code so this is how we can refactor the code and uh, we can you know reduce some amount of code so this is basically the best practice we use while developing the react application in next lecture we'll connect our react application to add employee rest api and we'll send the add employee form details to the add employee rest api and then add employee rest api will save those form details into a mysql database all right great i will see you in the next lecture